Crime Syndicate issue one, another mini series here. This is Andy Schmidt writing with uh Kieran McCohen and or McCowan maybe, uh and Brian Hitch on art. But there's, there's actually a backup. It's not actually an oversized mm-hmm. book, but there is like a sort of designated backup <laughs> section. It's a separate story. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> well, I uh, I I chose not to read this because it okay. looked dull. Um. <sighs> You're not wrong, that, Connor. Yeah, that's not making me regret that. Um, oh, well, why? I'm, I don't know why little... today's catchphrase became Connor's a prick, but honestly, it's coming up again. Just, I'm I'm a prick for not reading a book that didn't look very good. Yes, try issue ones. So, you covered. <laughs> right. He has a fight later. I got stuff to do today. I want to get this done. <laughs> um, so I had high hopes on this book. So it's mostly on me. Um, but when I started it. Infinite Frontier is meant to be like, hey, we're going forward. Mm-hmm. And this felt like a big step back. Um, and it's just the characterizations of these crime syndicate. <clears throat> like, I understand they want it to be different because now Earth 3 is different. Um, but different doesn't, I don't know. I say a different form of, uh, I can't even get my words together right. It was bad. Like, I did not <laughs> enjoy reading this. Um, I love how he's searching for words. And <laughs> it just ends up with this. Because I didn't want to outright say that, but, like... Can I ask a question? Be- is is, 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 is Ultraman, as a kid, being responsible for killing JFK? Is that a new thing, or is that something that's... That, that's completely new, that's completely because new. traditionally okay. Ultraman isn't an alien. He is a human that ended up getting powers via kryptonite, and then he almost becomes an addict... Because he needs that kryptonite to feel special. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. And, well, it's, they, they, and it's, they do. They do reference he's an addict later on in the issue, so yeah. presumably he's still munching so, on like, kryptonite. Right, and he might not be Kryptonian, but he's being played as Kryptonian here. Mm-hmm. I was getting vibes of of Brightburn. Actually, here. I didn't even notice this when I was reading that, but on the the page, yeah. where, you know, where he's floating in the air as a kid, uh, yeah. he's on Elm mm-hmm. Street. Yeah. <laughs> it says Elm yeah, Street. <laughs> the street side. Yeah. Um, They're not subtle, then, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, not at all. And so, like, and I and I get this is, you know, versions of the of the Justice League that are on an Earth where morality is flipped. But I didn't get that. You know, I don't get that morality is flipped. Yeah, it's a bit like I have in weird in different versions of Earth three. Because um, uh, obviously we skip ahead to when they're adults and. Yeah. Uh, Ultraman doesn't like the fake news that's been printed in the Daily right. Planet about him. Cat Grant took a stand and said mm-hmm. some nasty Which things about I, him i do like that cat is the the publisher because you know she does have a different relationship with superman traditionally mm-hmm. um so for <laughs> for her to be the one running those stories I, I i thought that was pretty cool yeah i wasn't uh, super into this either there is the odd little thing that i kind of like like in the mm-hmm. art where for example they tease like someone speaks speaking to the president and it, it, it's these two close-up right. panels of the mouse and it's like whoever the villainous woman is is like saying you know right something and then she's like m- makes like moving his mouth to match it mm-hmm. and it just you, you get a sense of what it's doing and it turns out to be superwoman right. uh with president right. oliver queen <laughs> right who's but it's donna troy superwoman yes very different which, which, which is different which again different doesn't always mean bad that's what i was trying to get around to but here i just nothing lands yeah. for me john stewart is the power ring uh, right, no. which I did. That was the one high point here is how different they've made this powering from different, and not just because it's John, just his whole idea of of order, right? And that's what he's gonna try to bring to this Earth. Um, is is completely different than the powering that we've got. That he's like this scared individual mm-hmm. that lets the ring make the decisions for him. That's completely different from this, which, which that was a good change. I thought. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here. And, you know, you know, the, the character interesting. There's a Starro invasion towards the end, which they all kind of react to uh, after they're um, introduced. Which I do like. Uh, yeah. You know, no one's allowed to bully the city but me. <laughs> I, I did like that out of Ultraman. It was very Ultraman. Yeah. But yeah, I was very disappointed. And then we got to the backup and oh, just this you, whole story. You're skipping over uh, um, Owlman's introduction oh, just quickly. Where yeah. it's Thomas right. Wayne, who's Owlman, and... Right, typical. And uh, basically... Alfred like shoots someone in the back of a head who's taken a taken some Instagram vo- videos of Owlman, 
Uh, right. It's like always clean up after your 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 Messi's uh, Master Thomas. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's basically a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the backup is basically just like a a telling of young Ultra Man. So, I it, it, take this for what you will. I took this version of if these are the Kents. <laughs> this is the Snyder verse Kents. All right, feel, you end up well, with Ultraman. Basically, yeah, they, 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 know? They, they, they're, they're opinionated people who describe someone as a, uh, a bunch of freeloaders, right? Right, uh, right. And so, so this is what this young Clark is is, is taught, and right. because he ha- has that viewpoint, eventually, when the Kents reveal that he's an alien and they show him the ship, he says, uh-huh. "You're liars! You've been making me do chores. You're freeloaders too." And now he's just right. evil because he sees everyone on Earth as a bunch of freeloaders. <laughs> Right, and I'm just like, all right. Well, uh, I don't. Sure. I, but for the amount that you called me a prick, I feel like I made the right decision. He, he did. Yeah, you know, you're supposed Pete to suffer like too. Right, but Pete doesn't like springing surprises unless it's him doing it. You know, well, like like times where I was led to believe that we were all reading a book, and I get there, and I'm the only one that read it. Nah, you know? for the record, I'm not surprised. I'm just disappointed. Right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, the one other thing I did think was funny here is they would editor note books that aren't. Oh real. yeah, I actually don't I, think this was funny. I yeah, thought that was funny. There's, there's there's two or three editors notes where it'll say, uh, like John Stewart will mention something about the Green Lantern Corps. Right. Like, yeah, coming up in Green Lantern Corps, blah blah blah. Uh, on shelves never. Right. <laughs> and it was just I thought that was way. pretty funny. Yeah, I got a kick out of that. <laughs> yeah, but like just these characterizations, they just go a little bit too cartoony and not a good way. Yeah, you know, like, I, like again, the whole freeloaders thing, and you're just like, do something more. Like you already kind of set them up. Like again, I was getting vibes of the Kents from from Man of Steel, where they're like, this this country doesn't know you anything. The world doesn't know you anything. You be you, <laughs> and you be proud of it. And then it all loads to him like they like. Oh, well, do I've had to do chores, so I almost would have yeah. preferred if this this book, like the New Earth Three Ultraman. Is just yeah. Man of Steel Kent's. That would have been, would have been great. But it becomes if you Ultraman. told me that's what it was, I'd have gone and bought it right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. And it almost gets there, and then you get to that, and you're just like, well, this is not satisfying. Like him, like he's just a brat. That doesn't make Ultraman work for me. No, nah. he's just a bratty version of Superman. It, it does actually sound like you might mention Brightburn. It sounds very along those lines. But- but at ways. least Brightburn had the guts to like actually make the kid a bad seed. Whereas here, he's just mad he had to do chores. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the reveal. Yeah, Brightburn was obviously trying to be more of a horror movie where it was dealing with the fear right. of the people. Because, you know, the, the, the parents in Brightburn weren't mm-hmm. evil. The parents were scared of no. him and like were terrified right. when they started to realize what he was capable of. But they weren't awful mm-hmm. to him. They, they didn't make him be evil. No. You know? No. Uh, uh, but yeah, so... And here, that's where I, I got the vibe. That's what they were going for when he assassinates well, JFK. I mean, bet- between you know? between mentioning fake news, between the parents calling anyone yeah. who gets a hand out a freeloader, right. I mean, there's, there's a bit of a political message in here about, mm-hmm. you know, like, making, like, really entitled, uh, like, you know, uh, little shits. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. Which, like, yeah, which... Which I could buy the vibe if that was the morality on this Earth 3, right? That's, But I don't get that. I get that Earth 3 is actually not that much different than typical Earth, but just the Justice League is bad now. I, and, you know, and that to me, that Earth 3 doesn't work. Yeah. You know, you got to have that flip morality where, you, you know, Bendis even played with it in in his, you know, Young Justice and Superman run. You know, that, that's part of John's origin where that Ultraman imprisoned him in a volcano, you know, because he was almost jealous of him. Yeah. Oh, that was and definitely more that. interesting for sure. No. Yeah. And so this one is just not interesting. So. Yeah. I've been waiting to finish for like three minutes so I could ask him what he's yeah. written and <laughs> move on. <laughs> this is a four. <laughs> I mean, I'll go five just because I think it's told yeah. well enough and flows well enough that I can't really be too harsh on the actual, you know, the art of the comic booking side of it. Uh, and there's a couple of jokes here or there that were amusing, but I didn't really like it that much either, and I don't want to read the next one, so... Yeah, yeah. that's where I'm at, too. And most of that is my own expectations, because I came into this when it was announced, like, super stoked. Mm-hmm. And it just let me down real hard. I did not realize you were ever stoked with this, because uh, that, that, this was announced while my computer was broken, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
So as soon as I saw this, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. I really the whole time. What, I, what I, I assumed that you guys also had the same kind of muted yeah. trepidation about it. I didn't realize there was excitement about this one. No, for, for me it was because um, the first Morth Morrison thing I think I ever read was his Earth 2 graphic novel. Mm. Like, I remember buying that in middle school. I had my mom get it for me at the bookstore. And I read that, and that really set the tone. Like, oh, cool. Like, evil versions can be cool. I don't think like, I, they're not just a soaky thing. I don't think I'd so, be describing myself as excited. Matt was excited. I was neutral yeah. curiosity, I suppose I'd call myself. Yeah. Yeah, I would never when this was announced. People was like, "Oh, cool, we'll check out the first issue." Yeah, that was mad. Me, I was like, "Oh yeah, this this could be like fun," and it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah.